Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another very interesting relationship that can be very handy when we're trying to solve for finding different angles inscribed or circumscribed uh, with circles. And it has to do with the common arc length. So there may be two different angles that have the same common arc length. So let's take a look at our first example here on the right. So we can see here that the measure of angle 1 must indeed be half the measure from the arc length from A to B. And the reason is because we have the point on the very edge of the circle. Likewise, we can say that the measure for angle 2 must also equal one half the measure from A to B. Again, because that point right here is on the very edge of the circle. If that's the case, of course, the measure of each of these angles is equal to the same value, so therefore the measure of the two angles must be the same. So in this case, it can be clearly seen that the measure of angle 1 must equal to the measure of angle 2 because, well, they have that very similar, or well, the exact same relationship to the arc length from A to B. And likewise, notice that if the measure for angle 1 here is equal to the measure of angle 2 there, then, they, then they, where the two lines cross on the other side of the circle, well, that must obtain an arc length of, the, of half the measure of angle 1. In this case, this should then subtend half the measure of angle 2. But of course, if they have both the same measure, then the arc length from A to B must equal to the arc length from D to E. And so those two very nice relationships are very handy again when we're trying to find the value for angles when they're inscribed in circles as we have shown here. And that is how it's done. The measure from A to B. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it. Hold the presses. Hold the presses. That's not right. That is not right. That is not right.